Okay, I can't do this out here. I'm about to move this inside and start all over because it is freaking hot and I have like no energy. So, as you can tell, I came inside because it is freaking hot outside and I was not here for that. Could not do it. My face was melting and I was out there for like 0.2 seconds. I only got to fact number five and I was like, no. I'm going to re-intro this so I have a little bit more energy because it was not good outside. So, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Skylar, also known as Sky. Most people call me Sky. That's, that's what you can call me. I'm just too scared to change my channel name. But anyways, make sure you guys go and subscribe, like, share, check out my other videos. Last week, or not even last week, it was like a few days ago, I made a jewel cake for my brother-in-law and it turned out but it was a disaster getting there but the the overall product was pretty decent actually we're gonna go ahead and get started with today's video i don't know why i keep doing this this was originally supposed to be a 50 facts video but i couldn't come up with 50 facts the very last fact is something that's probably gonna blow your mind or maybe not i really don't know if you know me from like way back when like a long time ago you probably already know this but if not you're about to learn something new number one is that I was born in Arlington Texas I was raised in Fort Worth Texas which is like 30 20 30 minutes away but I was born in Arlington which is where I currently live now but the reason why I was born in Arlington Texas is because my mom so basically something went wrong at the hospital in Fort Worth when she was delivering my brother and she didn't want he's good now by the way but and she didn't want any of that to happen with me she didn't want to take the chances so she drove all the way to arlington to deliver me instead of delivering me in fort worth so fact number two is that my boyfriend is my boss yeah he's like my actual boss like we make a living together you know so subscribe so that way i can make a living off here and i don't have to work with him anymore because it's honestly not that fun but it is way better than clocking in every day with some other job having to be like oh we're gonna be here at this time sharp if you're late you get a point if you get a certain amount of points you're fired no none of that my boyfriend is my boss he owns his own business so i work with him i am his wing woman no not wing woman isn't that when someone picks up someone for you anyways i help him out i am his little assistant type thing you know like we we just we work together Okay, fact number three is that I have three brothers and zero sisters. I have an older brother named Thomas. He's 22. Yeah, he just turned 22 on July 24th. Um, I have two little brothers. One of them's name is Scotty and one of them's name is Christian. A little sub fun fact, like a fun fun fact, you know. Um, I'm pretty close with my older brother, my little brothers. I was really close with them whenever they were younger. I honestly don't talk to them now. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> but uh, I want to say they're around 10 years old. Anyways, that's a whole nother topic and we're not going to get into that right now. Okay, fact number four is that I have been to 14 different states but never out of the country. I do want to go out of the country. I want to go on like a cruise, I want to go to like Hawaii, I want to go to like Canada, I want to go to Bora Bora, I want to go, there's a bunch of places that I want to go to, okay? But we're broke out here and we're trying to go to, to school, okay? Stay in school, about that. I've never been on the, never eat soggy. I've never been on the west coast, um, like by California and stuff like that. I really want to go over there and I've never been on the east coast either. But I've been to like a few states in the middle. <sighs> Number five is that I am not a fan of cats. Please don't come for me. I don't hate cats. I just would never own a cat. You know, my aunt is a crazy cat lady. So if I ever find, you know, a stray or, you know, something like that, I would give it to my aunt, but I wouldn't take it. I don't want it in my house um, just because I don't like the cat litter. I don't like how they scratch people. I don't like all the fur, they make me sneeze. Um, some of them are really mean, I just, I can't. Kittens, oh yeah, for sure. I will babysit a kitten, but I will never own one. Okay, fact number six is that my favorite type of music is 2000s, like hip hop and R&B and stuff like that. Anything in the 2000s, 
I will get lit to that type of music. Like at my wedding, that's what I want to be played. At my funeral, that's what I want to be played. Like I love, love music during that time. Um, fact number seven. Ooh, this one's kind of. <laughs> Fact number seven is that I've only been in one serious relationship. One, if you know what I mean. And that is with the same boyfriend that I'm with now, which is Anthony. I met him when I was 14, and I am now turning 21 in a few months, and that's it. Um, fact number eight is that I love football, and I used to be a competitive cheerleader. But I was a competitive cheerleader for like a long, 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 long time. Um, I did gymnastics for like six years and then I was like, I don't want to do this. Like, I just want to learn how to do flips and stuff. Like, teach me how to how to twirl in the air and what, whatever, whatnot. I don't care about the bars. I don't care about the beams. Like, people that can do that, props to you. But I'm all about doing the flips and stuff. So, my mom took me out of that, put me in tumbling. I learned how to do like three different types of back flips in like a week. And I was lit so and your girl won nationals in disney world and they shut down disney world for the cheerleaders which was me it was lit um fact number nine is that i hate doing my hair if you can tell it's literally like this is my natural hair and it's, i just put a little mini baby ponytail because i ran out of dry shampoo and i didn't feel like you know I didn't feel like going to buy some. So, um, fact number 10 is that I am super tall. Well, not super tall, but I'm like above average. Like, I'm 5'9", which is tall for a girl. Most girls are like, like my mom is 5'2". 5'2". My dad is 6'4", which is where I get my height from. But I'm 5'9". And I think the average girl is like 5'5". Five, five, or five four or something like that but at least i'm not like six foot and anthony's taller than me so that's all that really matters right right fact number 11 is that i bought my first car when i was 16 and i bought it all by myself my first job was at an ice cream parlor it's called marble slab creamery and i literally saved every single one of my checks from the time i got that job for like five months, I saved literally every single one of my checks. All I spent was my tips, which was not a lot, but I was also 16, so I didn't have to like pay bills. I didn't have to do none of that stuff. All I had to buy was food. Well, I had to pay like my phone bill, but that's it. I didn't have a car payment. I didn't have like like rent. I didn't have any of that stuff. So I just saved every single one of my checks, spent my tips, and within five months, I bought my first car completely cash and was done. And it was honestly the best car that I've ever owned to this day. Fact number 12 is that, fact number 12 is that I am strangely addicted to coffee and sweet tea. I literally would drink one or the, like those two every single day. If I go to a fast food restaurant, I'm getting sweet tea. Every single morning when I wake up, what's the first thing I get? Coffee. Um, I'm actually, I have a coffee right now. It's literally, over there you can't see it and I don't want to get up but it's over there I get a, an iced caramel macchiato from Starbucks in case you're wondering those are that's my shit fact number 13 is that I have an angel number and it is 1203 and for those of you who don't know an angel number is like a number that like you see a lot and it like follows you almost like it's like like it has a meaning behind it and literally First of all, my birthday is 1203, which that does not make it my angel number. That's just a coincidence. Like, it's 1203, and I just see that number everywhere. Like, literally yesterday, I went to O'Reilly's with... Or O'Reilly? Is it O'Reilly or O'Reilly's? I don't know. But anyways, I went to the automotive store with Anthony. And um, we're, like, in the middle of checking out. And I look down at the thing that he's purchasing, which it's an alternator. He was replacing it on his truck. But anyways, so he has the alternator and I look down and there's like a like giant numbers like across like on a sticker across the part. And in the middle of those numbers, it said 1203. And I pointed it out to him and he goes, oh, my God, that's crazy. Like I literally see it everywhere. Every day I check the time. I see 1203 at least once. 
Like when I'm driving down the highway, I see 1203. Like I just see it everywhere. And then one time I was on Snapchat and I'm like just clicking through my stories, right? Just click, click, click. And I see three screenshots on people's stories, like different people, different screenshots. And at the time, every single one of them was at 1203. Literally every single one of them said 1203 and I was like, I'm shook. So yeah. And I'm going to read to you real quick what my angel number means just because I think it's hella interesting. If you don't think it's interesting, you better double click on the side real quick so that way you can skip this part. But um, angel number 1203 is a message that your faith, positive attitude and prayers are holding you in a very positive light and your wishes may be granted with abundance manifested through your positive energies. Be grateful for your abundance and blessings and use them to pursue your passions and life purpose. Tell me that's not deep. All right, fact number 14 is that I'm a Sagittarius. I just told you guys my birthday is December 3rd, which is, it makes me a Sagittarius. I don't know anything about that stuff, but my friends are like, anytime I'm acting a certain way, I'll tell my friends like, I mean, my friends will tell me, Anytime I'm acting a certain way, my friends will tell me like, oh, it's because you're a Sagittarius. And I'm like, what does that mean? Like, is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? Like, what does that mean? That means nothing to me. I don't understand. I just know I'm a Sagittarius. Fact number 15 is that I have never broken a bone, knock on wood. Not, don't start barking. I started knocking and she like lifted her head. Um, but yeah, I have never broken a bone. I have never gotten stitches. I've sprained my ankles and my wrist about a hundred times, but I've never broken anything. But I also act like a mom. Like I'm always like super cautious. I'm like, don't do that. You're gonna get hurt. You know? So that's probably why. Fact number 16 is that I have one tattoo, but it is on my ribs. Um, there's a picture of it on my Instagram, but I don't want to show you guys because I'm kind of like, I'm not going to show you guys, but um, if you go to my Instagram, at Skylar and Elise, <laughs> plug when you can, um, I have a picture of it on there. Um, you just scroll down a little bit. It's, it's, it's on there. It's on there somewhere. But it says, grow through what you go through. And the reason why I got that is because, um, I don't want to say I have a bad past, but I have like a, some some shit that I went through and uh, I always say that no matter your situation everything happens for a reason so take whether it's good or bad take it and use it to grow so whatever you go through you need to grow through it grow from it you need to make the best of it and just keep moving fact number 17 is that I can eat chick-fil-a literally every single day like I did at one point. I So I worked in the mall and right across from me was the food court and I had like a 30 minute break and literally on every single one of my breaks, I went to Chick-fil-A to the point that they knew me and they knew my order. Like whenever they saw me walking up, they they knew my order. Um, Fact number 18 is that I hate Apple Music. I don't really listen to Apple Music. I, it's like, I know music is music, but I prefer Spotify. I've always used Spotify, it's just, it's my my platform of music that I choose. Um, I, Apple Music is good, but to me it's kind of hard to navigate. I'm, maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know, but I, I'm just so used to Spotify that that's just what I use. And I like that on Spotify they have like a little discover thing. And it's like based on the music that you listen to, you might also like this music. And then I love that one because I'm not a huge music person. Like I listen to music, but like... I listen to 2000s stuff. I don't really keep up with the new stuff unless I just hear it and I'm like, oh, this is a good song, you know? But like, I'm not the type to keep up with people and be like, oh, so-and-so just dropped this, like, you know, download the album. That's not me. Fact number 19 is that my favorite color is baby blue. I love baby blue. I don't know if it has something to do with my name being Sky, but I love baby blue. Baby blue is like, any anything baby blue i'm here for it like i'm i'm buying it i'm purchasing i'm i'm getting it fact number 20 is that i really 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 want a mercedes like i don't know 
I do know why. It's because it's pretty. You know, that's why I have an iPhone, just because it's pretty. But I feel like if I get a Mercedes, people will just look at me and be like, she has her shit together. You know, like people, they'll just be like, she, she got money. She got money. She has her shit together. She is successful. She, honey. But I want a four door Mercedes and I want it to be white. If I get some exotic car, like a Lamborghini or like something like that, I'll probably get it like baby blue. But like, I want a white Mercedes so bad. Fact number 21 is that I hate dresses. I'm, j I'm just not comfortable in dresses. I'm more of like, if I'm going out, I'm gonna wear like jeans, a cute top and some heels. That's just how I'm comfortable. And the jeans are probably going to be all ripped to hell. So it's ba I'm basically wearing a dress. But I'm not. I just, anytime I wear a dress, I am so uncomfortable. I don't like it. I feel like I look weird in them because I'm so freaking tall. So I just wear jeans, a cute shirt, and some heels. And then I'm good. Fact number 22 is that I prefer beer over liquor. Most women don't, but I hate liquor. Like, I'll drink it and, like, margaritas and stuff like that. But, like, shots, I, I struggle with shots. Like, if I'm taking shots, I am trying to get fucked up. Because I usually, I hate shots. And, like, tequila, if you say tequila, I'm running that way. Like, I'm dipping. I hate tequila. But, uh, inside of, like, margaritas and, like, mixed drinks and stuff, yeah, I'll drink that. But shots, uh-uh. And usually I'll drink like one like mixed drink and then I'm beer for the rest of the night. I'm straight beer. I get so bloated, it's so bad and I need to stop. But beer is like my go-to. I also really like wine, but I can only drink like so much of that and then I end up transitioning to beer because it's just too sweet and it just makes my head hurt. Um, Fact number 23, we're almost done. We only have a few more. Fact number 23 is that my dream dog is a Pomsky. They're so cute. A Pomsky is a Pomeranian mixed with a Husky, and I want one with blue eyes. Uh, like icy blue baby blue eyes. Like mine. I want a Pomsky so bad. Like I'm all about I'm all for like rescuing and stuff like that. Like please, yes, do. That's what we did with Cardi. But if I get to like choose a dog and like I have made it in life, I am buying myself a Pomsky. They're like two or three grand, which I don't, that's kind of expensive for a dog, but uh, they're cute, okay? They're really, really cute and they're little and that's what I want. I just want to be able to have a little puppy I could just cuddle with and like I'm making this video. I could be holding a Pomsky right now, like insert Pomsky, you know, like it, they're, they're freaking cute. Fact number 24 is that I love Mexican food. That is my favorite kind of food. I will forever love Mexican food. By the way, if you like horchata and you're also a little white girl like me, if you get a almond milk, it's a cinnamon almond milk macchiato, I think is what it's called, something like that. It tastes like an horchata. It is so good. But... Yeah, I love Mexican food. Like, best believe, if you're coming to my wedding, you better like Mexican food because that's what we're having. And no, I'm not engaged. I'm not even getting married anytime soon. But when it does happen, it's going to be Mexican food. Okay, fact number 25. The one you have all been waiting for, probably the reason why you clicked on this video, is... <sighs> I don't even want to... Okay. Fact number 25 is, I used to be a boy, like a tomboy. Like when I was younger, I would be a huge tomboy. Like I, I would wear like basketball shorts and DCs. Like do y'all remember DCs? I don't know how old you guys are, but <sighs> bro. And I remember I had a pair that was white and it had like, like brown, a brown logo on it and oh my gosh but I used to wear that and then I would skateboard all the time I played football like I actually played football and then I would play like throw up tackle with my brothers and it was just I don't know that's probably why like I hate females now like I just I don't know I always hang out with guys just because that's what I'm used to like I talk mad 
shit all the time just because i'm so used to being around guys and that's all we do so like if you're my friend and i talk shit to you it means that i like you now i'm like a mom and a girly girl like i wear makeup every day i don't have my nails done right now and that's because she didn't have anything available for like a week it's good to have a good nail tech but not whenever they're booked all the time but anyways I'm getting my nails done literally tomorrow in the morning because I've been a few days without nails and I feel disgusting. I actually feel like I'm going back to my tomboy days. But mama, come here so, I, so we can say bye. Come here. Come on. Come on, mama. Hi, baby. This is my puppy. Hi, mama. Hey, baby. Don't lick my face. I'm wearing makeup. No, I'm wearing makeup. I love you. Okay. But anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you're not mad at me for that clickbait, but I had to do it, okay? We need the views because I need to make a living now. But anyways. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more because I have nothing else better to do. And I love you guys. Go watch my other videos. Um, they're actually pretty funny and... Uh, I'm pretty dope so yeah just go watch it okay anyways I will see you guys in my next video and yeah bye guys